welcome to HITC Sport. Right, how are we doing lads? This is the end. This is the video where all the credibility of the channel just goes down the drain basically. Ugh, we never had any left to begin with. Right, okay lads, I'm gonna let you guys in on a little bit of a secret. Since I think we've developed a little bit of a bond over the last year or so, lads, they're literally just here to roast your scarf. A few months ago, I had the great idea of going around interviewing a few university girls and what footballer they found most attractive. I know. Thankfully, I woke up the following morning and realised that the world would probably rather watch a 20 minute tutorial of how to wank off a pig then watch any of that shit. What about, oh, no, oh, no, no, I don't mind gingers. Eh, uh, it's me. I am Olivier Giroud. It's you. Yeah. So don't worry, lads, I won't inflict it on you. It was a god awful, dreadful video. But what we'll do instead is something a little bit different. Outside of the scarf comments, I don't know what you guys get up to, but I'd imagine quite a lot of you spent a lot of your time desperately swiping through Tinder, drowning in a sea of tears, spunk, and petty faloo. For those of you who don't know, listen up, you OAPs. Tinder is a superficial phone app where desperate singletons swipe away until they get finger cramped as they desperately seek out another human being to give them 20 minutes of their time. Jeez, what am I doing? You swear they just give me a brandy or something. If anyone should sponsor me, it should be the makers of this f***ing yoke, but they're probably too busy concentrating on trying to stay alive in that Vietnamese sweatshop. Yeah, the truth is ugly up close. For me, I had great crack on Tinder. Very, very successful all, all, all together. What? But let's take a look at what footballers Tinder profiles would actually look like. This actually feels like the wag video I did a few months back. I mean, it did all right for the views, wonder why, but good lord, the content practically saw my family f disown me. Oh, by the way, lads, I realized that I sound like f Patty and Selma, all right? The Ireland game is still taking its toll on me. But anyway, don't worry, this is just a one-off stupid idea, all right? We'll be back. We'll be back to the normal football ideas tomorrow, all right? So you don't need to lose your f***ing mind. You know, it's a bit like when you cut your hair with a bread knife and a spoon. I mean, you no, it's going to end badly, but, but you know, you're just kind of morbidly curious to see how it goes. This one's gonna end up like Gervinho, isn't it? Anyway, let's get on with it. Although before I start, I have to stress to anybody watching, none of this is true. This is all fabrication, all right? Uh, this, is, this is just a parody. None of these lads are on They all have wives and girlfriends. It's fine, all right? Just like the KSI and Logan Paul beef, this is all fake. Right, let's go. All right, let's first start off with Nick Pope. Here's a photo of him in his England kit. By the way, I love how he's come out this week and told the world this harrowing early years of working as a milkman and having to work in next. Jesus Christ, Nick, have you ever thought about selling your story to Times Magazine? He'll be applying for a Lifetime Achievement Award next. I mean, it makes it sound like you used to spend 16 hours a day walking barefoot in the mines, not selling crop tops and operating a milk float. I have a friend who works in Topshop. I'm not giving him a badge of honor. Anyway, let's write this man his bio. Oh, and by the way, if you're wondering why I changed my t-shirt, I was sweating like a former Sunderland winger at a crash, and I'm not talking about Steve Malbrank. I'm an England international goalkeeper now. I'm kind of a big deal. Only people with over half a million Instagram followers are allowed to swipe right. I used to be a milkman. Not anymore though, because as I said before, I'm now an England international goalkeeper. All right, moving on to John Joe Shelby, a man who if women saw on their Tinder, they would probably throw their phone down the Toilet. Then we'll go to this guy. No. He has a condition where he loses his hair at a young age. No. There is nothing wrong with that. Now, I'm not saying Shelby is not the brightest tool in the box. Well, but he does seem like the type to have on his Tinder profile, his f***ing wedding photo. Friends call me JJ. Unfortunately, I have no friends on account of my personality. People often spit at me in the street. No Harry Potter fans, please. Okay, what would you say to all of my potential subscribers that are losing their hair at the age of 13? Rest in peace. Diego Costa next. Let's pick out a photo for him. Uh, suitably terrifying for a man who looks like he'd strangle his date if she mispronounced his name. Honest to God, he was a great player for Chelsea, right? Top notch. But whenever he was sent off, I was always slightly worried that he was going to come back onto the pitch with a f***ing axe. A la Jack Nicholson in The Shining. Yes, I'm really 29. Why does everyone keep saying I remind them of their grandfather? Still recovering from a broken heart after I was dumped by text. Major abandonment issues. I'm not going to lie, there's a possibility that I will scream at the waiter, smash the dinner plate, and headbutt your mother. But underneath, I'm a misunderstood flower. This is, looks like a big boy. All right, first up, a photo of Diego and the lights at a club he loves so much that he decided to walk out on them four years ago. Out to dinner with the boss. Oh, taken November 2016. Right. And finally, with one of the world's greatest volleyball players of all time. All right, let's see. Neymar on Tinder. Right, this should be good. Brazilian living in Paris. Not planning on being here long, so just looking for some fun. On an unrelated note, anyone know any cheap houses going in Madrid? Tell me your first impressions of this dude. I don't know. He looks like a footballer. Is it because he's wearing a football jersey? So here he is, dressed head to tail like a leopard. Here's a photo to show his sensitive side. Oh, is that what we're doing? I'll see if I've still got that picture of Bill Cosby lying around. Here's him cuddling up to with... 
Oh no, no, it's fine. It's, it's just his sister. Wait, hang on. It's his sister. That man's been watching way too much Game of Thrones. Here's a photo of a celebrity friend to get the girl's attention. Um, girls watch Ellen DeGeneres, don't they? And finally, here's just a photo of him wearing KSI's clothes. Except I don't think his forehead is bigger than planet Earth. Next up, Niall Ranger. God love him. <laughs> Niall Ranger. Oh, f All right, okay. A man who spent 10 weeks of last year not even being allowed to use a telephone. I mean, he also wasn't allowed hot showers, Weetabix, or his own f***ing shoelaces. But I suppose that's what happens when you get done for defrauding an old woman. Full-time mad bastard. A straight thuggin' yo. Just got out of prison. Not able to hold down a job. Why would he advertise this? Anyone know a good tattoo removal clinic? Also, if we match, feel free to send me your height, weight, and relevant bank details. <laughs> Sick. Okay, Niall, sorry, I, you're probably trying to turn your life around, so I'm being a bit unfair right now. So just, you can just ignore the shite that's spilling out of my mouth, alright? Uh, and so can the rest of you. This is a sh video. This, I, I already know. But uh, let's see, what are his other photos on Tinder? This this should be good, right? Uh, well, well, this one, of course, because why, why wouldn't you? You can just see the confident look in his eyes as he peels back the bottom lip to reveal the golden tooth and a tattoo that looks like it was drawn on by a six-year-old, and he just knows, yeah. I am a man who makes good decisions. This photo will be next, as he points to a sign on his jacket saying, Leave me alone, which ironically is a catchphrase for 14 year old girls who hate their stepdad. Not really for a professional footballer slash king of the street. The next photo would be his personalized Mercedes. He has his name written onto his car. Fuck, oh, I mean, at least he's not written on his head. Alright. And finally, just a photo of all his. All his cash. If he wanted, he could literally buy my house and turn it into a public urinal. I mean, it, I mean, it pretty much smells like one already. Adam Johnson. Is there any way to lower the age rating? Also, if we meet up, please don't check my laptop history while I'm in the bathroom. In unrelated news, got any pets? Visitation hours are from two to four. <laughs> Kevin De Bruyne. Belgian, living in Manchester, enjoy long walks on the beach and winning titles at Old Trafford. If you see T-Bone here, stay the f*** away. That, that's it actually, I'm still amazed that De Bruyne and Courtois are still so pally together at the Belgian national team. Considering Wayne Bridge was about half a bottle of wine away from mailing John Terry chunks of his hair. Some say I look like Ed Sheeran, others say the Frosties kid. They're gonna taste great, they're gonna taste great. I can hear the sound of Frosties hitting me play. Oh, remember him. I hope that boy is dead. Don't worry, I promise I'll wear a hat in public. Ed Sheeran look alike. Looks not like him. Gingers all look the same. No. Who? Why are you choosing these people? They're all ugly. I know what you're looking at and it's the hair. It's not the let's, hair. Let's just call out the elephant in the room. It's the hair. It is the hair. Nah. No. You don't like ginger? No. Your, your hair is um, half red. Well, he's ginger, so we'll swipe hey. right. We'll swipe right. Hey, sticking up for one of your own. <laughs> okay, let's see the photos. All right, here's a photo of Kevin looking like a 30, 17 year old who was reluctantly dragged on a family holiday to Tenerife. Just, just stand by the sea, son. We'll, we'll get, we'll get a nice, we'll get a nice photo of you. And for f**k's sake, would you smile for your mother? That was so my childhood. I think it's refreshing that the boy can arguably be the best player in the Premier League despite having the upper body of a 35-year-old librarian. And here's a photo of De Bruyne, who looks like Ross Geller on his way to prom. Julian Lescott. If you weigh 200 pounds and we match, don't worry, it was just a pocket swipe. I must have been driving, thinking about how much richer I am than you. And no, I don't iron my forehead before dates. Why does everybody keep asking me that? Be be beats me, Julian. Moving on to Angel Di Maria. I might look like Dobby the house elf, but I have enough money to have you burned at the stake, no questions asked. N now can I have my date? Hello? Stephen Ireland. Want to come to my granny's funeral? No, no, not her. The, the other one? I, I, I mean the third one? I can feel myself this is a god-awful video. Like, this is a bit like starring in a James Corden movie. Like, you know it's sh You know it's bad. You know it's gonna- you know it's gonna tank at the box office. But, uh, you're kind of in a bit too deep now. So, uh... Just, You've never heard of a Tinder? No, no. Oh, then you are useless for this- uh, away with you. Wenches of the night. Hector Bellerin. Spanish in London. My accent sounds like if you stuck a golf ball down Del Boy's throat. If you watch Arsenal Fan TV, we cannot be friends. Alright, and the photos, right. Here's a photo of Bellerin wearing a jumper that was clearly made for the true Geordie. Honestly, that could be used as a tent to house a family of four homeless people. Look at the f size of it. Ah yes, the generic pretend someone told a hilarious joke off camera pose. It shows that he likes to laugh. Perhaps not as much as we do at his performances. As you can see, looking down the lens is clearly out of fashion, even when you're cornered into a wall. Wayne Rooney. If you don't have the menopause, I'm not interested. Again with Rooney, he does seem like the type of guy to have pictures of his wife and Kate's on a Tinder app. <laughs> yes, Wayne Rooney. He's at the top of my list. <laughs> right? Wayne Rooney, Manchester. 
top guy. Love him to bits. Almost enough to go on a date with him. Ryan Geeks. You really got to love hair under here. Don't tell my wife that I'm on here. Or my brother's wife. Or my next door neighbor. Or my kid's school teacher. Or the lollipop lady. Or the village sheep. I mean, he is Welsh. Saito Berino. Going through a bit of a dry spell, haven't scored in two years, so I thought I might try my luck on here instead. Jimmy Bullard. I haven't showered in six weeks. Olivier Giroud. If I could swipe right myself, I would do it twice. I mean, I'm guessing that man is so attracted to himself that he would probably remove his rib cage if he could. It didn't really work out so well for Marilyn Manson. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, that's, that's actually full on excitement in her eyes. Oh wow, okay. Do you need like a few moments alone with the photo? You can have it, like you can take my phone in back and just like do what you want with it, but just make sure the screen is still clean afterwards. Um. Jamie Carriter. Any single mothers out there? Lock up your mothers, lock up your daughters, and definitely lock up your car windows. Big Jamie is back on the prowl. I'll shower you with love, affection, and a big gob of phlegm. I once kicked the shit out of Joe Weather. Big deal, who hasn't? I have plenty of time on my hands. Once went seven years without scoring. Dirt couch. Somebody swipe right. Somebody, anybody. I have money, lots of it. Why won't anybody swipe right? Tom Cleverly. Pineapple on your pizza, yay or nay? Oh, I, see, I just imagine that like, Tom Cleverly is probably such a boring, imaginative who, if he wasn't a footballer, probably would be asking girls what their favorite topping on a pizza was. Deli Ali. Professional footballer, amateur diver, wannabe film star. Is it okay if Eric comes on our first date? He, he gets lonely. Danny Simpson. Believing in miracles since 2nd of the 5th, 2016. Looking for a girl with that special X Factor. To be fair, I think Danny Simpson already tried the X Factor route. But then again, Talisa is to the music industry what Jeremy Kyle is to well-informed political debate. I'm pretty sure she was about sixth choice for X Factor bosses all those years ago. Alright, so let's see. We've been turned on Mariah Carey, Kesha, LaRue. Your one-off Gogglebox. Mary who runs the telly bingo. How about your one-off end -ups? Not the one who wears a traffic cone on their head. You know you're one famous for being on the big fat gypsy gangster? Yep, perfect. Luke Shaw. I hate my boss. I have a box of donuts, need a partner in crime. I was thinking about photos to put up for Luke Shaw, but he'd probably just put up the KFC menu. Over for me, Mertens. I'm really 33, not 54. I don't know how to change the age on this. Nigerian guy stuck out in China. Nobody has looked more out of place here since Owen Wilson in Shanghai Nights. P.S. I love Lauren Koscielny. Wayne Bridge. Devastated, looking for love, trust nobody. Gareth Barry. Single dad, nearly in his 40s, looking to settle down. Six foot and I have my own car. And by car, I mean any unattended taxi that I like the look of. All right, Cristiano Ronaldo on Tinder. Lies, lies, if you need any more proof on how ridiculous this is, Cristiano Ronaldo on Tinder. That's like watching Donald Trump queue at an ATM. It just would not happen. Cristiano Ronaldo. Single dad to four kids, just need one more to complete my five-a-side team. I secretly cry myself to sleep at night because I will never be as loved as Lionel Messi. That one is sure to set off a lot of you in the f***ing comments. Okay, so there you go. That was the end of the ordeal, basically. I just want to say, well done, congratulations. It Here's your medal, all right? I, I don't know why I was looking at it. I don't know why I was looking there. Clearly, I didn't have a medal beside me. But ladies, you earned that. Well done to anyone who made it through that excuse of a video. Once again, I can't stress enough. None of that was true. This was a parody, all right? I mean, I, I don't think I should have to explain that, but you never know what the internet sometimes. Anyway, I can imagine this video will annoy quite a, quite a portion of you, but this was a one-off, all right? We'll be back to normal, normal good videos afterwards. I just wanted to try out something new. Anyway, let me know what you think. That's the end of the video. If you have enjoyed, give it a like, give it a share, and a subscribe. And as always, talk to you in a while.